I'm happy about Dead Cliffs because I kept getting bad maps for a while. We're on the worst side, but it really shouldn't matter. Alright, don't let those first two show you how the fusion is. I honestly just missed. That was on me. That was not the gun. Still doing good, Bob and Weaving. I really have to focus up with this thing because I'm not that used to using fusions. Keep trying to build good habits, break bad habits. Like one of the worst habits I have is getting impatient with the pre-charge and doing this. When if I ever drop that pre-charge, I need to go back in and back in, that type of thing. Okay, got the streak. I know what to do. Let the tornado do the work. Psych! I have to just duel it. Excellent game mode. Team's not getting to me in time. Uh, another habit I noticed in the last match is if a hunter dodge, I, like a dumb player, commit to the uh, to the shot when I could just reset the charge and let it aim assist. I know he's on top of me, but the arbalist is definitely the greater evil there. That's a sidearm. I cannot beat that. I can bait him now, though. Someone's going to spawn on me, however. Is that stasis? Pretty good controller aim. Five seconds. No! I wish he gave me just a little bit more time. It was not a homie shade binder. No green drop. No. 
You think that wouldn't kill, but it absolutely will. I need to farm some more targeting data. He's gonna ice for me. Oh, hold on, that's a super. Requires an extra shot. Please, anybody. Oh, I got a ricochet. No. Okay, I think this showed the potential of the fusion. I really, really do. So, closing thoughts on this fusion rifle. I was wondering about offhand strike, if it would be the right call. I mainly picked it because I don't like aiming down sights with these things on mouse and keyboard. I like just hip firing, keeps my radar up. I did experiment with Ice Dude on what these damage numbers were, and if they made a difference on overshields and on woven mail. And in my testing, since you have to use four bolts anyway in either case, you might as well just go accelerated coils. Initially, I was going for a god roll that contained either particle repeater or the one that gives you range. And then the other choice would have been liquid coils so that I could bully over shields if I had like radiant damage boost, Bacris, Lumina, that type of thing. But when I saw that even having those up wouldn't make a difference on the current meta things we have, I think it's perfectly okay going accelerated coils, hitting a little bit less damage, and still being able to three or four bolt certain situations. This perk, uh, Lego, that's like one of the fusion rifle content creators, check his channel out, pretty sick content, usually does recommend going for range for most fusions, so I trust that. Otherwise, I would continue throwing engrams at this till it got arrowhead break, but I really don't think the recoil direction matters that much when the damage fall off or whatever it's still pretty decent, the spread's still pretty decent, and I think if I had better recoil direction but less range, or more range but worse recoil direction, it effectively means the same thing. I go radar booster on this, because the radar is how you play a fusion rifle. That's why invis fusion is so strong, despite charging it breaking your invis, is because you can like sub position perfectly, so that whenever you're exposed, you're shooting the fusion rifle. Arc Holster is a bit of a double-edged sword if you're going to go high impact reserves. But I can play around it just fine. The Bacris damage boost to this does help when you're at the top of the magazine. So by the time Bacris goes away, you get back down to high impact reserves. This is probably going to be my main invis fusion. And the reasoning for that is because Skulking Wolf comes up naturally when playing a fusion rifle. The better your opponent, the more likely you are to uh the more likely they are to land shots on you which means that you're going to frog school looking wolf all the time and on a class like bakris which doesn't have access to invis this is the next best thing now in my experience through this play session i am much better off playing with a slug bakris slug is crazy good very aggressive setup i still think this is going to trend towards the dawn blade rift healing camping strategy I say camping, I guess I just mean maintaining map control strategy. This is going to fit perfect. I talked about this in my Glacioclasm review, and I basically said I want this exact fusion to play with Dawnblade. And so that's where I would use it. The other fusion, uh, what's it called? Pressurized Precision. I would probably do the inverse of this build and it would work better. Graviton Lance, uh, Graviton Lance with Pressurized Precision on Invis, probably way better than this. I just felt like playing Bacchus today. That's all. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.